So just another few things that we have in store for you is we're actually building some stuff out right now to show you how to do some specialized stuff, right? So this was an instance of grabbing a wall clock, using a wall clock properly. Now, again, I say properly, meaning getting the proper time inserted into it, right? Meaning if it's at 12 o'clock, it should say 12 o'clock here, right? So when it comes down to it, then it gives you the proper information, right? This is in military time, so yes, it is giving me the proper time. Now, coming down, that's giving you the local date and time. Now, I added some flasher timers in here for like basically slow flash timers, and then we're using the FAL instruction to load this increment. So this would be used for in case for Let's just say, for instance, uh, catching a start time and having it on a pop-up on an HMI system. Or something of that nature, right? So we have several different things, and we're showing this as an all, and we're also showing this as an increment. So we can cut either one of these off, and then we can also come in here and clear this data as well. So we can clear this data just like that. So if you wanted to see that, I could actually take this, monitor this, go over here you can see there is data in my date and time right now rolling there's nothing inside of here now if I come in here if I do increments what it's gonna do it's gonna come in and it's gonna start incrementing right it's gonna increment every time right it's gonna get a different portion every single time until it gets the full thing right so see how, how it's popping data in so I want to show you that again in, in live, right? So we're going to take it off of increment. We're going to clear it out again. We're going to show you that it is cleared out again. It's cleared out, right? And then we're going to come out and then we're going to come and do the all. Now the all, what that's going to do is it's going to transition everything at once. Boom, done, everything at once. So now how do we use this in the HMI? Glad you asked. So we built this, this pop-up right here, right? And we basically have these tags come in and we're basically filling this information in. So as efficiently as it possibly can, it's showing you that the date is August 8th at, you know, it's it's right at 11.50. Um, and my time is as, as an hour off, so don't worry about that. But uh, again, from the processor. But it's pulling the processor's time, which is 11.50. 58 right so when it comes down to it now what I did do on top of this okay just to show you this is I made the same exact thing I made the same exact thing in a global object so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw up a test screen right here right okay and uh, basically well we already have the global object but we're gonna come in here and put it in anyway so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna populate the global object we're gonna copy this we're going to paste it in we're going to drag it where we want to and then we'll close that out now what we need to do is we need to fill in our global object uh, information so one is our plc shortcut okay the next one is going to be our uh, data server which is uh, basically our is is underneath where our rs links is and then basically coming from this, we want to give it a name. So this would be system time. Okay. And now we want to grab the tag. So what I'm going to do is merely just come over here, grab this tag right here, and then pop back over here, paste this tag in here, and then, and then start it up. Now that is a global object. Now, that global object, again, so now you see the time is actually rolled over. So uh, we'll give it just a minute and it will roll back over to the correct stuff. But again, when this comes down to it, it is reading time from, let's see, uh, let's go back to, yeah, let's go back to here. It is reading the time from here. The time from here, actually, let's see, you can see what it's pulling in right here. It, it It's the eighth, right eighth month eight day and how am i getting august instead of saying eight right now that's very important right that's very important to understand so when you come down to it i want you to, to break that down inside the hmi how am i doing that 
So first and foremost, we want to actually get off of this one. And we'll save it. And I'll show you real quick on this very first one I made. So when I'm making a global object, what I do is I come in here and make the very first one. So I'll show you the very beginning. I'll show you a couple states. So I'm basically just calling in all the information. And what I'm saying is, okay, so if this is, you know, uh, calling the, the, the first section of that, then I'm coming in and I'm basically falling in to say, okay, so this is looking at the month and I'm saying that's the month. I'm saying January, February, March, April, May, you know, keep going. Right, and then I'm giving all the data after that. Right, you can see the increments in the data after that. And then the same thing applies too with being able to look at uh, adding a zero or not having a zero. So there's actually two of these overlaid. Now I'm gonna show how, how I built all this. I'm gonna actually build it live, but I wanna actually give you a, like a, a, a short example of how this was done and how this was used because it's super efficient when you wanna actually use it. Now, what I will say to um, <laughs> some of these things, when you run these things back to back like this, like if you have, uh, you, being that this is a duplicate just about like of this, sometimes these things air out right here. It's not a big deal. It's, it's mainly because it's being used right here, right? So it knows, it knows there's, a, there's something in the system that's using it. But the key to this, and I want to show you, is if I open this up, when I open this, what you're gonna see, obviously, if you if you ever dealt with uh, global objects, you're gonna see that this is now shooting for, you know, not tags, it's shooting for elements, right? So think about that. Think about, right, passing parameters. We're passing parameters, a different ball game, right? We're passing parameters. We're passing parameters. We're not passing tags. So again, when it comes down to it, the tags go through those numbers, but how do you set those numbers up? So I'm glad you asked, and that's what we're gonna go through when we go through everything, right? So we can get all this stuff working, and we're gonna show you how to build all this stuff from scratch, and we're gonna show you how to build this, this logic so that it makes sense, and so it, it can actually flow and work exactly like you want to. Now again, when it comes down to it, I don't want to make this a really, really long video. What I wanted to do is, is give you an overview of, of an instance that we used before as a time. This was basically like something like an event driven uh, system where we wanted to catch a time and we wanted to catch the time and, and really understand the time. This is what we did. And then we had a pop up on an HMI screen that we could go to and say, okay, well, this was the specific time that this event happened. Now, of course, all the names and stuff has been changed from the, the implementation that we did. But again, same exact principle got used. So I wanted to highlight that and show that for your benefit so that you can get a real life implementation of this. Now, again, I will come back and have a video at showing me building this so that you get to see it all from scratch. You get the very best from it. But to keep this video short and sweet, I just want to introduce you to it so that you can stay tuned for the very next thing. So we'll see you on the next one.